Good morning, everybody. We're in Ottawa, Illinois. Not Ottawa, Ontario. Ottawa, Illinois, USA. We woke up to a nice, clean unit. So glad we got it washed yesterday. It's a happy trailer. If you see the happy trailer rolling through, it just might be me. I won't have this trailer every trip. It's just for this trip. I've never seen this trailer before. I don't know where it came from, but it's got my load in it and I was told to take it and I double checked. So we got a happy trailer this week. The happy face in the back. I washed it down yesterday at the Blue Beacon. We're ready to roll in towards New Jersey and New York. I made a mistake. I thought I was not going into New York City. I thought I was just dipping into the suburbs. Not true. We're going to the island. Is it called Long Island? We gotta go through New York City to the other side of New York City to a town called Hopudge. Hopudge? I still can't pronounce it. I didn't even look. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was on like the New York area side, like close to New Jersey, like just barely into New York or Upper New York. Because I was told that it was in the northern part of the U.S. Of, of the New York State, not the city. Not true. We're going through New York City. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice surprise. So I'm not really looking forward to that, but it is what it is. It's my job, it's what I gotta do, so I'll get it done. So we're gonna go and try to get Cranford, New Jersey delivered tomorrow afternoon. That's my first drop. Uh, so I'm just gonna book it today as fast as I can. Get to uh, around uh, Brookville, I believe, Brooksville, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna try to stop at the Flying J TA around there. That's about 600 miles from here. And then tomorrow, as soon as I can, I'm gonna book it into Cranford, New Jersey, try to get that off in the afternoon. And then I'm gonna go back out of the city, go back west, find a good parking spot away from New York City go to bed and then early in the morning, early, early in the morning, as soon as we can, we're gonna wake up and we're gonna try to get through traffic before everybody else wakes up. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> ah, I gotta mentally prepare myself now for New York City. The sooner we get going, the sooner we get out of New York City. I'm not even in New York City yet. I already wanna get out of New York City. Trailer brakes work, trailer's attached, didn't fall off, and they released too. Bonus, all right. So I'm gonna be a little rushed today because I need to get to my desk, like my end of day as soon as possible so that I can start my 10 hours as soon as possible. So I was gonna avoid the I-80 toll road going through Ohio, but not anymore. The time is more valuable to me than uh, saving the tolls. I have to be able to make sure that I trip plan properly. Otherwise I'm gonna get stuck somewhere in New York and there's very, very few parking options once you get into New York City. Like there's practically nothing. There's a couple of service areas on the turnpikes there but it's not exactly the place you want to go if you can avoid it. So off we go. We'll just have to pay the tolls. We're gonna get on to Interstate 80 Three eastbound. Meters. Take the entrance to the left on I-80 East. I already told him, Karen. You're kind of late to the party here. Why are you late for work? I dock you pay for every minute you're late. East towards Joliet. Okay, it is gonna be a, uh, a wild ride today. Just go, 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 go. And 
hope to find parking tonight. I might even have to pay for parking. Uh, that's okay, we're gonna have fun. Let's not focus on the bad things, it's gonna be a good day of trucking. We're gonna make it a good day. Plaza, the George Ad 
George Ad Day or George Ad Travel Plaza. These things are amazing. I don't need to go into this one right now. But uh, lots of parking. Nice convenience store. This one seems like a bit of a smaller one. There's bigger ones yet. At least we won't have to worry about that, right? We can just focus on getting to our destination. I'm trying to get to, uh, I think it's called Brooksville, I told you already, right? Brooksville, Pennsylvania. There's a couple of big truck stops there I want to get to tonight. That way I can take my 10 hours there, wake up early in the morning, run into Cranford, get that unloaded in the afternoon, run back out of the city, find a good parking spot away from the city, then wake up super early the next morning and get into onto Long Island and get to my delivery for noon the following day. This should work out the way I planned it out. I mean, plan for the plan to fail, but that's the plan. Okay, and here's our first toll plaza. Sign here, check brakes on the left. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Hey, you should probably check your brakes before you get here. You should probably do that in your pre trip too. But if you haven't, if you didn't, now, now's a good time to check your brakes. It's the toll booth coming. And we're in Indiana, so you still gotta slow right down. Unless they've changed that already. Most other states have the express lanes where you can just drive right through. Looks like they're building that up ahead. pass only. Just gotta follow the signs. Easy pass. I gotta dust off the old easy pass transponder. I don't use it that often. Okay, I see the lanes here. So the ones that have the purple screen with the white writing on top of it, that's for us. Just follow this car hauler. Technically, I could go through any one of them. They all accept Easy Pass, but this one's supposed to be moving quicker because it's Easy Pass only. Hopefully, I don't have issues with my transponder. It's always embarrassing. You hold the whole line up. Let's see, is it going to give me the green light? This guy go through, he got the green light, now it's my turn, they're gonna scan my transponder. I should get the green light. Green light, yes! Thank goodness. I'm always worried that that thing's not gonna work. Now I'm gonna be stuck there all embarrassed. I have to call in. Excuse me, my transponder didn't work holding up traffic, everyone's getting mad at me, honking. We're gonna pull into one of these service centers now, quick bathroom break. This is the George N. Craig Travel Plaza. This is the good thing about these toll roads, or at least this toll road. The first good thing is that they accept Easy Pass. I wish all states would just get on that same system. Where do we want to go? We want to go this way. I don't think I need to actually go inside. It's not going to be my half hour break. Continue on this road for 351 kilometers. Right on the end, right here. This one's for us. Look at all these parking spots, right? It's beautiful. So they really do have everything you need here. Parking, convenience store, they got fuel back here. We got more parking over here. Nice. 
so nice when they provide parking for us. And this would be, uh, well, this would be provided by the toll company, right? Is that government owned or is it privately owned? Uh, I'm not sure on the I-80 here. I get more and more nervous the further east I go because I know I'm gonna have problems finding parking if I'm not careful. So we're gonna be careful and try to get there as early as we can. take a look at this highway. There, I gave you my money. Now can you please fix the highway? As soon as we hit Ohio, the road turned perfectly smooth. So I guess the, the states are different. Maybe the tolls from this part go to Ohio. It's not all one company that owns the whole stretch, I guess, through the states. As soon as we got to Ohio here, even the pavement changed. But I guess it's just Indiana and Illinois. I-80 through those two states. We'll see how Ohio does, but so far, you can tell a difference immediately. How's Michigan doing? I haven't been there in a while, and I remember Michigan, they used to have crazy bad roads. Oh, this is narrow. What in the world? Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Woo! I was threading the needle here. Oh, and this guy doesn't have a transponder, really? Uh-oh, the transponder's not working. This is what I was talking about before. That's embarrassing. You can't back up. for me. Yikes.
tell I'm not from here? I'm a paid tourist just rolling through. This place is crazy. I'm glad I got a spot. I decided to stop here for tonight. Uh, we made it to just outside of Youngstown, I believe, Austin Town. Just outside of Youngstown, we're in Austin Town, Ohio, right by the Pennsylvania border. Got here at about 8 o'clock. I had more time, I could drive further, but I was looking around at the parking spots and checking my Trucker Path app at available parking up ahead of me on the road. Everything was filling up, 8 o'clock. I was lucky to get this spot here, so I filled up right here. This was the cheapest fuel on my road. That's why I was here in the first place when I came here, because they had cheap juice. Filled it up. Looked around, I saw a parking spot. I took it. And I'm glad I did, because everything is just jam-packed now, and everybody's just piling in in every way, shape, and form they can. So I'm gonna get up real early. We're in Eastern time zone right now, so I got here at eight o'clock Eastern. It would be seven o'clock Central. Uh, so I'm gonna get up at probably around, I wanna leave at about 6.30 in the morning, Eastern time, so 5.30. I'll probably be up around 5.45, get myself up, have some breakfast, and try to get rolling. It gives me 45 minutes, quickly throw on some clothes, get out there, do my pre-trip, come in here, eat a granola bar or something for breakfast, something simple, go in and grab a coffee, and hit the road. I'll have about seven hours of driving tomorrow, well, six and a half to seven hours, and we're gonna make it to Cranford, hopefully between one and two o'clock. And I have to be there before 3 for them to receive me. So the plan is to deliver that. And then run over to... Uh, uh, what's that place again? There is a... Uh, not an oasis. It's a rest area on the Turnpike in New Jersey, just across from New York. What's it called? Vince something? Right by the George Washington Bridge. See if I can find it here for you real quick. The Vince Lombardi Travel Plaza. And it looks like it fills up pretty quick. There's a ton of parking spots there. But uh, I've been talking with my friend Moses. That you guys know. We met up with him this last summer, so you guys know he's got that nice Kenworth, right? And uh, he's telling me, because he goes through there all the time, and he's uh, telling me where to go, how to get in there, because i got to get onto Long Island. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, because I'm not used to it, but uh, I think I'll be fine. Just stay on the interstates, he says. Stay off the parkways. Those aren't for trucks. So deliver to Cranford around 1, 2 o'clock. Hopefully be unloaded there by like 3.30, and then it'll be like a half hour to an hour up to Vince Lombardi Travel Plaza. Be there around 4.35 o'clock, and hopefully at that time I can still find a parking spot there. We'll shut down for the night, wake up early in the morning, and uh, head across the George Washington Bridge through New York City and onto Long Island to uh, Hapog. I think that's how I pronounce it. Moses' wife Colleen has family who lives on Long Island and they told her, who told me, that the way you pronounce the town that I'm going to is Hapog, 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 not Hapoge. H-A-U-P-P-A-U-G-E, Hapog. Feel free to correct me if I said that wrong. <laughs> I gotta be there for a noon delivery day after tomorrow, so get that delivered and then get out of the city and go find somewhere nice and quiet to park and we'll figure out what we're doing from there. I don't know where my reload is yet, maybe I'll find out tomorrow. Uh, but I'll know by then. I know it won't be in New York City, I'm pretty sure of that. I wanna get away from there. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, we drove 700 kilometers or about 470 miles or so and tomorrow will be about the same I have what six and a half seven hours of driving to Cranford but at least we'll be on a regular schedule now where we're getting up early and stopping early so I don't have to worry about finding parking at the end of my day take care everybody be safe out there drive safe and keep your head up